How are we doing? Good to see you this morning. My name is Rachel McClam. I am the principal at DC Prep Edgewood Middle Campus. My vision for EMC is that our school is a place where everyone loves and wants to be a part of. That's actually our motto this year that we're using is that EMC is a place where everyone loves and wants to be part of. Um, and that's true for our students, our staff, and our families. I think for our staff, we believe really strongly that adult culture shapes student culture. So if our adults really want to be part of our community, that's gonna translate to our kids. Um, and for our students, it like in practice, it means three things. We want our classrooms to be joyous. We wanna create joyous learning environments where kids really love um, being part of, they feel part of their community, um, they feel safe to take risks. We do that through through what we call proactive culture creation. So our, um, our teachers think really carefully about what is the culture I wanna build in my room and um, spend a lot of time establishing that and really teaching it to kids because if kids really understand what is expected of them and um, know the, what the environment they're walking into, they can meet those expectations. And then um, we focus a lot on how adults establish relationships with kids as learners. So really um, getting to know our kids as learners, their strengths, their areas of growth, so that they can provide strong feedback, both positive, we want adults to be celebrating kids all the time, and constructive, because it's in service of our organization-wide mission around closing the achievement gap and um, allowing every student in our building to graduate with both the personal character and academic preparation to succeed in high school and college. So those two things go hand in hand, right? If you have a place where people love and want to be, then they feel safe to take academic academic risks, they feel safe to push themselves to try that really hard problem that they didn't know they could get. Um, and uh, in order to like uh, leave on grade level, leave ready to succeed in high school and college and beyond um, with the creative thinking and the problem solving skills that is going to serve them. All right, the first one is just identifying which one of these makes sense. So it's like you using logic on the number line. And then we're using increments of two. That means our scale is two tenths and plotting those, okay? We're gonna start off as independent and then we'll have time with work partners in the end, okay? So, which is B gonna be positive or negative? Okay. You said this would be like negative. Okay. So no matter where you are, even if you've moved past Please, please do Mr. Myers a solid and flip your page back and let's check to see if Dimby's work looks tight on the first page. Hard condition for engagement if you're showing me anything about what you're thinking. I appreciate you. Uh, Muawiya and then Marcus. What's up, Muawiya? Got it. Mark in addition for engagement. That's my favorite. I love it when people recognize their own mistakes. That's beautiful. That shows me that they're thinking. The way I was teaching this was that if this is three over here, opposite three is about the same distance, right? So that means negative three would be bad over here. And if I break this up like this, that's negative two, that's negative one, and that's somewhere between zero and negative one. This is not completely accurate. I'm not, I'm, it's not a perfect scale for me, but it's easy to tell that it's C and not D. You should have crossed out A and B immediately, right? Because those two are positive numbers, and we're talking about the other side of zero. Cool? Ready? Five, six, seven, and... Two, three. 
three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice. Okay. Here we go. Everett. My name is Sunny Chang, and I am the special education teacher for 7th and 8th grade math. So I've been teaching for, this is my second year at DC Prep, and um, prior to coming to DC Prep, I taught for two years at a different public school. I think one of the characteristics that really stands out for me that makes this um, community so unique is its commitment to the whole child. It's not just about academics, but it's about uh, really being committed to developing the characteristics and um, the integrity of each individual to become a really um, outstanding member of society. One, two, and three, one service. Ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, I do feel like this school is a high quality school because our academics are really high and off the charts. And you can't go anywhere feeling down because there's a lot of support in the school. My name is Marilyn Edmonds and I have a sixth grade preppy. DC Prep is a high quality school for my preppy. I know this because since Chris Lynn started attending DC Prep, she has consistently grown her reading level. She's now at a Z level in the sixth grade. She constantly feels challenged and talks about um, being able to reflect on what she's doing in her ELA classes, in her math classes. She has really grown um, and I feel like has developed into a strong reader and a lover of math and all of the other subjects that she she really is passionate about at this point. Wow.